hello everyone and welcome back to BTC Granny Squares 2021. Today we are making this gorgeous square called Winter Star and it's another one by Aurora who um, designed the square we had last, the um, burst of popcorns. I hope you had fun making that one. So today we have this um, Winter Star square. It might not be winter where you are, it might be summer. But it's a beautiful star and uh, that's what we're making today. So you will need, um, or the pattern suggests, two colours. You could do it all in one colour if you like. Um, I guess this just makes the star stand out a bit more, having it in two colours. But um, it's raised. It's a really nice raised kind of almost 3D effect. So even if you did it in one colour, you would still have this. A star sort of floating above your square um, so that's what we're going to make so you'll need um, your choice one or two colors of yarn your hook and some scissors and um, let's get going okay so as always you're going to start with a slip knot on your hook and we are going to make a ring by chaining four and then we slip stitch into that first chain and that makes our ring so there's a little tiny ring there you could use the magic ring if you prefer just make sure you sew that um, sew it up well at the end so it doesn't come undone okay so we're going to do a chain three which counts as a double crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet into that ring so we've now got two double crochets there and then we're going to chain two and make two more double crochets into the ring this is American terms double crochet so that would be a treble crochet in UK terms but I am going to be using US terms throughout the video and I might forget to tell you what it is in UK terms so just think of US terms so we've now got two double crochet chain two two double crochet we want a total of ten double crochet so chain two two double crochet into the ring chain two two double crochet into the ring Chain two, two double crochet. Let's see how many I've got here. So we should have five sets of two. So one, two, three, four, five. So five sets of two with chain two in between. So finish with a chain two, and then you want to slip stitch into the top of your initial chain three. And that will close the round. Oops, there we go. So we have these five sets of two double crochet. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to round two. Round two, we're going to chain one and then we're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. That's your starting chain. So do a single crochet in there and then a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so we've got two single crochets there, and then we're going to do a corner, and the corner is, in going into this space, we're going to do two double crochet, Oops. keeping the yarn on your hook, <laughs> so two double crochet, and then chain one, and two more double crochet into that same space. Okay. So we've got our two single crochets, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And those double crochets are all from that one space. Okay, so then we're going to repeat around. We're going to do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and two. And then we're going to do a corner 
in this next space. So that's two double crochet. Chain one and two more double crochet. Okay, so repeat that around. Now you might think five corners, five corners doesn't make a square. No, it doesn't, but we're making our triangle first. So we need the five corners of our triangle, okay? So repeat that around, two single crochet and then your corner. And I will meet you back to finish off the round. Okay, so you should have finished with a corner in your last chain space there so we're going to finish the round now by slip stitching into your first um, single crochet now if you can't find that if you're sort of where's my chain where's my single crochets then look here at your corner and you've got your two double crochets and then that will be a single crochet and then your next single crochet will be down here so work backwards and find where that stitch is and then just go into that stitch and make a slip stitch. Oops. There we go. So we already have a nice little star forming. This would make a nice little motif onto something just on its own without making it into, into a square. But a square is what we are aiming for today. So let me scroll up my pattern and let's move on to round three. Okay, so for round three, we're going to slip stitch across to the corner. And you want to do these slip stitches fairly loosely because you will need to be working into them later. So you want to slip stitch into the next single crochet as I said, make them quite loose and then into the first double crochet and then into the next double crochet and then finally slip stitch into the corner space. Okay, and what we're going to do is make our first corner. So the corner is as before, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. But for our first one, we need to chain three to act as our first double crochet. And then go back into that space and make a double crochet. Chain one, and then do your final two double crochet. All into that same corner. Okay, so there's our first corner or point of the star, if you like. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches so that will be your two double crochets so we're going to do a single crochet into each of those one and two and now we're going to do a single crochet decrease on the next two stitches so that will be your two single crochets down here so there are a couple of ways you can do it, but the way I like to do it is what's known as an in invisible decrease, where you pop your hook into the front loop of the first stitch. You're under just that front loop, and then you bring your hook down and you go under the front loop of the next stitch. If you see here, oops, you've got two um, strands there. So you've got the one closest to you, is the front loop and the one behind is the back loop and you want to go just under that first loop there so you've now got two loops on your hook plus the loop that was already on your hook yarn over and pull through pull through those first two sorry yarn over and pull through those two okay on the next one i will show you how a traditional um decrease is made so then we're going to do a single crochet into the next two stitches. So that again is your double crochets. And then into the corner, we're going to do a corner as usual. Two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet. Okay. 
and then we're going to do a single crochet into each of the next two stitches you might need to move those stitches along to find the top so single crochet and then another single crochet and then we're going to do that decrease so we're making these two single crochet stitches into one so the traditional way to do it is to go into that first stitch yarn over and pull through into the next stitch yarn over and pull through you've got three loops on your hook so yarn over and pull through all three loops nice and simple okay so now you're going to repeat this around single crochet into the next two stitches so into those double crochets then make your corner single crochet into the next two stitches and then your decrease and do that all the way around and I shall meet you back to finish the round off just around here now when you get back around um, near to the end you will have to sort of wiggle your hook a bit to get into those stitches because that's where you did your slip stitches so you will need to just kind of wiggle your hook a bit to get under some of those um, if you've done your slip stitches a little tight um, but just um, just give it a wiggle and then when you've done those last two single crochets we're going to slip stitch in the top of our beginning chain three and that is the end of round three so you can see we've still got a lovely um, star and again could be used as a motif on its own but we're going to move on to round four and make this even bigger okay so we are going to slip stitch into the next two stitches so we're going to slip stitch into the double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into the corner and then we're going to make our first corner but we're going to do it with three single crochets we're not doing the double crochets this time so chain one and then do three single crochets into that corner space okay just three single crochets into there and then we're going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches so move these across a little so you can see the top of this first stitch so we're going to do four single crochets one two three and four the next stitch is where we did our decrease and into there we are going to do a slip stitch slip stitch into there and then we're going to single crochet the next four stitches one two three and four and then in our corner we're going to do those three single crochets again okay so you're going to repeat this around you're going to work down four stitches and then do your slip stitch and four stitches back up so four stitches single crochet slip stitch four single crochet and then your corner so all the way around and I will see you at the end to finish off okay so you work your last four stitches up this side and then you're going to slip stitch to your first single crochet in this corner so the first single crochet there you're going to do a slip stitch sometimes it's a bit tricky getting into the stitch and there we go that's what we have so far lovely okay so we're going to do the last round with this color if you're going to be doing two colors the last round of this color and our star doesn't actually get any bigger than that we're going to be working this round which works sort of behind the star 
and lays the foundation ready for our um, outside collar and for squaring it up. So we're going to be working kind of behind our star, okay? But we're not actually squaring it up yet, so we'll be doing that in the next round. Okay, for this next round, we are going to be doing some back post double crochets. I will show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is chain one and then we are going to do a back post double crochet around this first stitch. So the one where we had our chain coming out from, where our chain is, sorry. So we're going to yarn over, so we're doing a back post double crochet. So yarn over and then take your hook behind your work and put it to the right hand side of that chain. So here's our chain three and your hook at the side. If you're left-handed, then you'll be doing it the opposite way. And then you want to go over the top. Now this is a bit tricky for the first one. You want to go over the top of that and then back through. Okay, and that pushes, if I bring show you on the back, here's our chain at the back. So it pushes that chain to the back. And then yarn over, pull through, and then finish your double crochet as you normally would. Now, I said this first one is a bit tricky. It's because we only have a chain one to start with. So we're working with, um, it's all a bit short at the moment. But you'll see the next one will be a lot easier. So yarn over. Bring your hook behind and in there to the right of this double crochet. Okay, see the hooks there at the side. Then go over the top of the stitch and push your hook to the back. And again, we've got that stitch at the back there. So then yarn over, pull through, and then complete your double crochet as you normally would. So that's two back post double crochets there that we've done. Okay, now we need to do six of those all together. So we've done two, we're going to do the next four. So we're going to work down this side we're going to work around these double crochets here from round three. So yarn over, hook in from behind, go over that stitch and push through to the back. Again, we've got that stitch on the hook at the back. Yarn over, pull through and complete your double crochet. So that's one. Then we're going to go back in and over the next stitch. Push it back and do your double crochet yarn over. This time we're going to be doing it over the single crochets here. So the single crochets of round three. So hook in from back to front, over the top of the stitch, through to the back. And so you've got just a little stitch on there this time. Come through and finish your double crochet. And then once more, you're going to come in at the side of that stitch you just worked over over the top of the next stitch and back through. There's that stitch and complete your double crochet. So you've now done six back post double crochets and they're all here behind your star. So now what we're going to do is skip where we slip stitched here. So the next one along is our slip stitch. We're going to skip that and then we're going to do a back post double crochet in the next eight stitches. So that will be your four stitches along here and then your four stitches down this side. OK, so four and four. And that's all you're going to do. So we're going to skip that, uh, skip the slip stitch. <laughs> Lots of s words <laughs> getting my, um, my words in a muddle. So we're going to do the first one there, which is a single crochet. Going to do a back post double crochet on that. So you will have a gap in the middle here, but that's fine. That's from where we skipped that slip stitch. Okay, so then that's one. We're going to do the second one. These are a bit tricky, so if you need to take your time, just take your time, pause the video, and um, just work a little. Then we're going to do the next one, which is around that double crochet. And then the fourth one, 
is on the next double crochet. Yeah. I've lost the loop somewhere. Okay. And then we skip over to these ones on this side. So we've done four so far. There's five. Just separate them if you need to find where your stitch is. And until you've got the hang of these stitches, just take your time. And it's... um. You work it into some tight spaces where you've got these single crochets so definitely just be patient if you've not done back post stitches before okay so there's those eight back post stitches done all along here and then again you're going to skip where this slip stitch was done and then you're going to work up four stitches and then down this side four skip over where the slip stitch is and do these four and these four all the way around until you get back to where you started and I will meet you back here. Okay so when you get back around to your start you'll be finishing with just those last two back post double crochets because we did the first uh, we did these two when we started the round. So you just need to find your first double crochet or back post double crochet you can see across the top here there's the chain that you made and then your first back post double crochet is behind it might be a little tricky to find it but you just need to go into the top there and do your slip stitch to finish the round you slip stitch into there and that is that round finished so we now have this on the back which gives us our foundation for turning it into a square and it means we don't have to put any stitches into our lovely star so let me just check what we're doing with the pattern okay so if you're not changing color you still ideally need to fasten off because we're going to be rejoining in a different place so um, I suggest that everybody now just fastens off their work and either keep your tail to rejoin the same colour or take your next colour. Okay, so just fasten that off, pull that there. Okay, so we are going to join the new colour and I've got this purpley violet colour. We are going to join that in the sixth stitch from where we joined okay so joined it in here so one two three four five six so it will be kind of in line with where that slip stitch was okay so the sixth stitch along which is kind of where that slip stitch was if you don't want to count precisely because the the, uh, the star obviously has five points and we've only got four corners so it won't all line up the same on every side so if you want to if you don't really want to count your stitches you could just join in any stitch you like really but the pattern does say we're joining in the sixth stitch from where we join three one two three four five six so i'm going to do as the pattern says and join it in there but technically you could just join it in any stitch you like so i'm just going to join it by tying it in there and then we've got a really nice simple round now we are going to make our first corner in this stitch so what we're going to do is the corners like we did originally when we had two double crochet chain one and two double crochet so the first one we're going to chain three as our double crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet in there i'm going to work over my yarn here and then we're going to chain one 
and then do two more double crochet in that same stitch and that will form our first corner now the first corner of our square we are going to be squaring up a bit now okay so we've got our first corner there and then we're going to double crochet in the next nine stitches nine stitches Okay, so nine double crochets, and then in the next stitch, you're going to do another corner, so two double crochet chain one two double crochet all in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around so nine double crochets and then your corner in the next stitch nine double crochets and then your corner and then you're going to finish with nine double crochets and then you'll slip stitch to the top of this chain three. Nice and simple. I'll see you at the end of this round. So there we go. There's the end of round six. So you can see it is sort of curving out a little bit. But the next round will make it all um, nice and square. You can see this one is a lot more square. You still might want to block it slightly okay so we're going to do this final round you can see here it goes up well this one goes up and then this one comes more straight so we are going to continue with the same color and do one more round now if your square is um, needing we're going to be doing um, half double crochets and double crochets so the main height around will be half double crochets if you need a bit more um, height and width to your square then you could choose to do double crochets and treble crochets okay so um, the pattern is for half double crochets and double crochets but you could do it as double and treble so um yeah so it's up to you which way you choose to do it um i will show you what we're going to do and then it's up to you if you want to decide to just move those stitches up a size and equally if your square is um is almost at the size you want you might choose to do single crochets and half double crochets okay so i'm going to show you what we're going to do um And then you choose that the pattern is for this so we are going to do um, a chain three as our first double crochet and then a double crochet in the next stitch and then in our corner we're going to do our usual two double crochet chain one and two double crochet so it's at the corners that you would do your tallest stitch and then the next two stitches we do a double crochet as well so if you are changing the size of your stitches you want to do the tallest stitches in the corner and then the first two stitches and as we did here it's the last two stitches of the round so we have our corner and then we have two double crochets and now we're going to do nine half double crochets which will leave the last two stitches so nine and then you should have two more stitches on the row oops so nine half double crochets so 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we have those two end stitches. So we're going to do our double crochet in those. One double crochet in each, and then back to your corner. So two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Nice and simple round to finish with. So you're going to do the first two stitches of the row in your double crochet. And then you're going to do nine half double crochets and then the last two stitches in a double crochet and then your corner same along here and the same along this side this side you'll finish with your nine half double crochets because we did our first two stitches here okay so finish that round and i will meet you somewhere here to finish off there we go just going to have to do my slip stitch now to finish off the round. So into the top of that chain three. You could choose to do an invisible join if you wish. But I'm just going to finish it there. Let me just uh, fasten that off. Uh, cut. There we go. not quite as tricky as it might have looked if you first looked at the pattern and thought ah how do i do that well i'll be honest i looked at the pattern and thought ah how do i do that <laughs> so um i had a go and had a practice with this one and worked out and actually when you start making it it does make a lot more sense than when you're just reading a pattern um it really does help to just try and what's the worst that can happen you have to undo a bit and do it again it's really not that that big a deal is it just undo it try it again um so there is that really cool kind of 3d star winter star beautiful so you could choose whichever way up you want this wherever you want your star to point so have the point at the top have it however you like so let me stop wiggling this around and there we go <laughs> uh, there we go i love it i think it's really cool how it sort of is braised up um just by doing those back post stitches which were a bit of a fiddly little tricky things but um it does give a really nice effect with that 3d look there so i hope you enjoyed this um making this square and i hope you've um found some new techniques that maybe you hadn't done before and uh we would love to see photos of what you've made. If you look in the description below, there will be a link to our Facebook group where um, there are albums there. You can upload a photo of your square. Show us what you've made. We do love to see what you've made and um, see what you're doing. Um, and you can come and have a look at the other squares we've been making and uh, join in the fun there. So that's it from me today. I will see you next time we have a square that um, I can video <laughs> when it's not um, got its copyright. Thank you to Aurora for allowing us to video her squares, um, her kind permission. So until next time, just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold. <laughs>